Hello everyone and a warm welcome. In this video presentation, I'll explore essential multiple choice questions MCQs with a brief explanation from Unit 5 of the JKSSB Female Supervisor Exam, specifically focusing on food science and processing, Part 2. Dear viewers, I also encourage you to study the detailed theory behind these MCQs through internet searches because there is always a possibility of errors in answers. For MCQs on other topics, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's attempt to solve some important MCQs one by one with a brief explanation, focusing on the topic food science and processing. Question 21. What is the primary purpose of the Maillard reaction in food processing? A. Preserving food B. Enhancing color and flavor C. Inhibiting microbial growth D. Increasing vitamin content The correct answer to question 21 is option B. Enhancing color and flavor Explanation The Maillard reaction is a chemical reaction between amino acids and reducing sugars that contributes to the browning and development of flavors in cooked foods. Question 22. In food preservation, what is the primary role of vacuum packaging? A. Reducing microbial contamination. B. Inhibiting oxidation. C. Enhancing color. D. Improving texture. The correct answer to question 22 is option B. Inhibiting oxidation. Explanation Vacuum packaging helps preserve food by removing oxygen, which reduces the risk of oxidative reactions and extends shelf life. Question 23 What is the primary function of a food stabilizer? A. Inhibiting microbial growth. B. Improving texture and consistency. C. Enhancing color. D. Increasing sweetness. The correct answer to question 23 is option B. Improving texture and consistency. Explanation Food stabilizers help maintain the texture and consistency of processed foods by preventing undesirable changes over time. Question 24 Which method of food preservation involves the use of high levels of salt, sugar, and nitrates? A. Pickling. B. Canning. C. Smoking. D. Dehydration. The correct answer to question 24 is option C. Smoking. Explanation Smoking is a preservation method that involves exposing food to smoke, often in combination with salt, sugar, and nitrates, to inhibit microbial growth and add flavor. Question 25 What is the purpose of homogenization in milk processing? A. Increasing fat content. B. Reducing microbial contamination. C. Preventing separation of cream. D. Enhancing sweetness. The correct answer to question 25 is option C. Preventing separation of cream explanation. Homogenization is a process that breaks down fat globules in milk, preventing the separation of cream and creating a uniform texture. Question 26. Which of the following is a common purpose of food irradiation? A. Adding color. B. Extending shelf life. C. Improving taste. D. Increasing sweetness. The correct answer to question 26 is option B. Extending shelf life. Explanation Food irradiation is used to extend shelf life by reducing microbial contamination and slowing down the ripening process. Question 27. What is the primary function of a dough conditioner in baking? A. Enhancing color. B. Increasing sweetness. C. Improving texture and consistency. D. Adding vitamins. The correct answer to question 27 is option C. Improving texture and consistency. Explanation. Dough conditioners improve the texture and consistency of dough by enhancing gluten formation and gas retention during baking. Question 28. In the context of food safety, what does the acronym FIFO stand for? A. Food Inspection and Freshness Order. B. First in, first out. C. Flavor, Ingredients, Freshness, Order. 
D. Freezing, inactivating, filtering, organizing. The correct answer to question 28 is option B. First in, first out. Explanation FIFO is a method used to manage perishable food inventory, ensuring that older items are used or sold before newer ones. Question 29 What is the primary role of pectin in the making of jams and jellies? A. Enhancing color. B. Providing sweetness. C. Acting as a thickening agent. D. Increasing vitamin content. The correct answer to question 29 is option C. Acting as a thickening agent. Explanation Pectin is a natural carbohydrate that acts as a thickening agent in the making of jams and jellies, helping them set. Question 30 which of the following food processing methods involves the controlled use of microorganisms to produce desirable changes? A. Canning B. Smoking C. Fermentation D. Dehydration The correct answer to question 30 is option C. Fermentation Explanation Fermentation is a process in which microorganisms, such as bacteria and yeast, are used to produce desirable changes in food, such as the production of yogurt or sauerkraut. Question 31. In India, which traditional method of food preservation involves sun-drying vegetables, fruits and grains? A. Smoking B. Freeze-drying C. Sun-drying D. Pickling The correct answer to question 31 is option C. Sun-drying Explanation Sun drying is a traditional method widely used in India for preserving various food items, taking advantage of abundant sunlight. Question 32 Which spice commonly used in Indian cuisine has natural antimicrobial properties and contributes to food preservation? A. Turmeric B. Cumin C. Coriander D. Fenugreek The correct answer to question 32 is option. A. Turmeric Explanation Turmeric, with its active compound curcumin, possesses natural antimicrobial properties and is a common ingredient in Indian recipes. Question 33 In Indian households, what technique is often employed for the long-term storage of grains to prevent infestation? A. Canning B. Vacuum packaging C. Smoking D. Neem leaf application the correct answer to question 33 is option D. Neem leaf application. Explanation Neem leaves are traditionally used in India to protect stored grains from insects and pests due to their natural insecticidal properties. Question 34 Which traditional Indian dairy product involves the fermentation of milk and is known for its probiotic properties? A. Paneer B. Ghee C. Lassi D. Khoya The correct answer to question 34 is option C. Lassi Explanation Lassi is a traditional Indian beverage made by fermenting yogurt, providing probiotic benefits for digestive health. Question 35 What is the primary purpose of the Indian spice asafoetida, hing, in food processing? A. Enhancing color B. Improving texture C. Acting as a preservative D. Adding sweetness The correct answer to question 35 is option C. Acting as a preservative Explanation Asafoetida is known for its preservative properties and is used in Indian cuisine to extend the shelf life of certain dishes. Question 36 In Indian cooking, which method is commonly used to temper spices by briefly frying them in hot oil or ghee? A. Blanching B. Roasting C. Fermentation D. Pickling The correct answer to question 36 is option B. Roasting Explanation Roasting, or tarka, is a common technique in Indian cooking to release and enhance the flavors of spices before incorporating them into dishes. Question 37 which Indian spice is often used for its natural colouring properties, giving a golden yellow hue to various dishes? A. Saffron B. Turmeric C. Paprika 
D. Cardamom. The correct answer to question 37 is option B. Turmeric. Explanation Turmeric is widely used in Indian cooking not only for its flavor but also for its natural coloring properties. Question 38 What is the traditional Indian method of preserving vegetables, such as mangoes or mixed vegetables, in a solution of salt, spices, and oil? A. Pickling. B. Smoking. C. Dehydration. D. Canning. The correct answer to question 38 is option A. Pickling. Explanation Pickling, or rachar, is a popular method in India for preserving vegetables using a mixture of salt, spices, and oil. Question 39 In Indian households, what is the term for the process of clarifying butter by removing milk solids? A. Blanching. B. Ghee making. C. Homogenization. D. Filtration. The correct answer to question 39 is option B. Ghee making. Explanation Ghee making involves clarifying butter by heating it and removing the milk solids, resulting in a pure and clarified form of butter. Question 40 Which traditional Indian sweetener, derived from concentrated sugarcane juice, is commonly used in various Indian deserts? A. Jagari. B. Honey. C. Maple syrup. D. Molasses. The correct answer to question 40 is option A. Jagari. Explanation Jagari is a traditional sweetener in India, rich in minerals, and is often used in the preparation of sweets and deserts. Thank you, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Education and Teacher Education at Shoki Bilal.